and it slides right out. Just like you that. Fit that right in to that groove here. Lift the miter up. The aluminum, it looks like you got powder coated paint. All of the material feels high end. It's like a Lamborghini of tile saws. friends and welcome back to the channel yes the time has come we are here I will be doing a comprehensive review on the world's first dustless waterless tile saw now this is the newest and most advanced tile saw technology in more than a decade it is equipped with a vacuum system and a filter system for dust containment and you guys must keep in mind I own this saw. I bought this saw with my own money. This is not a sponsored video. They did not pay me to make this video. They did not give me a free saw. Now, we will be using this saw for future bath and shower remodeling projects. I will obviously do update review videos on this. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe for those future videos. Now, not only do I have the IQ tile saw, I have every possible attachment as well. Now, the first of three attachments is this an extension table that attaches directly to the top of the existing IQ tile saw table, specifically designed for large format tile. The second attachment is this, a vacuum port hose kit. Now this attaches to the IQ saw, the vacuum system, and mimics a shop vac. And last, we have the miter attachment. I'm most curious about this miter attachment as we miter a lot of porcelain tile. IQ standard X stand. And of course, a brand new IQ hard material blade with a dressing stone. Now for the fun part, guys, time to unbox this saw. Mm. Bigger. Now we're talking. And here it is. The IQ dustless waterless tile saw. This is the main frame. Again, it feels super light. A lot lighter than I was expecting. Um, let's bring the camera up close and show you really quick before we pull this motor out. So we've got an aluminum frame here. It looks like this is for your dust collection. Spin filter once a day, I guess every time you finish a project, you simply spin it like this to collect and remove the dust. Here's the tray down here. I'll show you quickly. And that releases all the dust off of the filter. Let's pull it over here, show you how to release this. So there's a lever right here to release the dust tray. Let's show you how that works. Move it to the left. Pull it out. After every day, you simply dump this into a trash bag. Lock it. All right. We also have a handle here for transportation. Unlock it with this pin. Pull it out. Again, that's for transportation. And again, this thing feels fairly light. I'm curious to see how heavy it is with this motor attached to it. Let's spin it around and show you the other side. So it looks like we have our vacuum system, dust collection and filter system right here. So this is where the extraction happens. It's below the blade. It'll suck all of the dust in here into the filter and bring it back down into this tray. We've got a nice steel frame these wheels feel like good quality. Again, it feels light, but well made. Let's pull this motor out. Again, I've got to say, this feels much lighter than a DeWalt motor, a Lockmon Beast motor, or Diamondback. I mean, pretty much all other motors. It feels light, which is a good thing for transportation. So we'll quickly mount this. And then after that, we will open up all of the attachments and show you what those look like. Here we go, time to mount the motor. Okay. 
and it looks like we have some tools back here if you want to see we've got the wrench for the blade we've got the allen for the motor mount let's mount okay motors mounted I want to get a feel about how heavy this thing is, again, for transportation purposes. Not bad. One man can easily move this from point A to point B. And I've got to say, right off the bat, the materials used for this, I mean, the aluminum, it looks like you got powder coated paint. All of the material feels high end it's like a lamborghini of tile saws i've got to admit the quality is up there for sure 100 percent one beautiful looking saw really excited to test this thing out so let's do this next the last piece is the dust shroud for the blade super easy install here we go so you have your bolts here you simply pop them in just like this slide that up into the plastic. So pull this plastic tab, slide it up, close the tab, and there you go. This will rise as you cut depending on the thickness of the tile. Here's the dust shroud. Again, look at this saw guys, it's good looking. The materials, once again, I, I have to stress, the quality is top notch. It feels like a Lamborghini of tile saws. Alright guys, so here's the tray. We're going to install the tray, very easy to install. Right off the bat, this feels like plastic, but it's very, very dense rubber, which is a good thing. Tray feels rock solid, so let's install. Set the wheels right on the rails like that. Slide into place. And man, does that feel good. There is absolutely no slop whatsoever in this tray. I'm extremely impressed. You've got your tray stopper here. That feels great. That feels smooth. I'm excited to see how accurate it'll cut a long porcelain plank. But again, no movement in the tray. So I'm really excited already. It's uh, exceeding my expectations without a doubt. The quality, the build. This is your tray extension for large format tile. It simply slides in like this. And of course for your diagonal cuts, you got a fence here. And that installs directly on the table. So come and take a quick look. Again, this is for diagonal cuts straight cuts if you make more than one at the same measurement and you have your extension table here as well for large format tile and you can see how this dust shroud works it'll move up depending on the size of tile as you press this tray into the material Okay guys, I'm gonna show you one thing really quick and then we're gonna move on. Install the blade and open and unbox all three attachments. The extension table for large format tile, the miter attachment, also the vacuum port hose kit. All right, come over here. Very neat little design here. We have a spring-loaded locking mechanism for the tray. You simply flick it that way, pull the tray in, automatically locks. Open it, opens the tray. Okay, let's install the blade. So I've got both of their blades. This is for very hard material. This is for porcelain, stone, ceramic, as well as granite. Off the bat, this blade right here to my left, the gray one is a little heavier than the orange blade. So I'm assuming 
This will give a more rough cut, something to use for hard porcelain, as well as solid surface such as granite. And this blade is probably your all-purpose, all-around cleaner cutting blade. So we're gonna install the all-purpose blade here. And of course, we'll run more tests on this heavy-duty, hard material blade. Porcelain, marble, granite, ceramics. They call it a combination blade, all-purpose blade. So it includes a bushing so that you can use this blade on other tile saws. You cannot use other tile blades on the IQ saw. So here's the blade. Not extremely heavy. Reminds me of a Pearl P4, to be honest with you. Here's your bushing. Let's open this up. So this bushing here is installed into this blade so that you can use this blade on other 10 inch wet tile saws. So we'll save this, run some tests on the Beast as well as the DeWalt, see how well this blade cuts on those machines. Let's install. Remove like that. Let's grab the tool back here. Here we go. Reinstall the dust shroud. There you go. Let's open the attachments. We'll start with the most popular attachment, the large format extension table. Well, there you have it. It's not too heavy. It's very large for large format tile. I'm curious on how this attaches. It's made out of some sort of acrylic material. You wanna take a look here. It's got a very polished sort of veneer on the top. You have a large ruler on the bottom as well as the top. So a cool thing about this, again, it's really light. It really is. Has a handle right here for transportation. As you can see, we have the fence that's integrated into the extension table here. So again, this is the fence. It doubles as a handle. You got a little mechanism right here where you release this fence to install on the table. Let's quickly show you here. Raise the plunge capability. You've got a spring here, as well as here. And it's that easy. Let's install the table. Two tabs that are inserted into the table here. You have two holes. Take a quick look. Quickly pull out your table extension, slide it onto the tray underneath the blade. You find your two holes, you drop it in. Actually, one last thing, let me show you here. You've got a spring loaded lever here. Pull that up, drop it in, and you're good to go. Now keep in mind this mimics a table saw. You cannot slide this tray. You simply do this. Pull your measurement, install your fence. So raise the lever, lowers the hook. Hook it underneath at whatever measurement you need. Pull down to tighten and repeat on the other side. Raise the hook, drop it and lock it. And it locks extremely tight. So what you do is simple. Drop the plunge down, lock it, and you simply push your large format tile or material through like a table saw. And if you bring the camera up close, this acrylic material is very smooth, which allows the material to slide smoothly and easily through the blade. So this is how you remove the large format extension table. Pull this up, lift that up, and it slides right out, just like that. So here it is, the miter attachment. Let's open it up. So 
So here it is, your miter attachment. Let's install it. So this is how you install the miter attachment. You have your tab, your locating pin right here, which goes into the hole here. If you want to come up close, I'll show you how to install this. Fairly easy. Bring it over here. You fit that right in to that groove here. Lift the miter up. These first tabs are for a 45, and the second tabs are for 22 and a half. Simply tighten these thumb screws here, and there you go. Now for the last attachment, the vacuum port hose kit. Let's unbox. Looks like it includes a nice bag. Got your hose. Two hose attachments. And it looks like this goes right below the dust shroud. Let's install. Again, this is where the suction happens, the extraction of the dust. Drop that plunge option down, tighten up. Let's hook up the hose and see how well it works. Feels like a very good quality hose, very long. Plug the hose back there. and turn it on. It's got very, very strong suction. Remove the hose. raise the plunge, and simply remove it. A very easy attachment to install and remove. All right, let's open up the X stand, install it on the X stand, go outside, it's a beautiful day, and show you what this looks like in the daylight. Looks like it's assembled already. One quick critique, it looks like a very short stand. I have a feeling this saw sits a little lower than your typical tile saw. Here's the small stand. Here's your locking pin. All right, let's place it on the stand, guys. Drop the rear of the saw down, locks into place, and you're ready to go. Easy to remove, pull the pin here, lift up. Pick up the stand, grab the handle, and let's go. Well, there it is, the IQ saw, dustless, waterless. I'm impressed, like I said before, the materials, the build quality, it's a Lamborghini, a Ferrari of tile saws. Smooth tray, zero wobble. We've got a laser, no water necessary. It's very compact. One small critique, it does sit a little low. I'm six foot three, so that's something I'll have to get used to. It's light. It has a plunge option. We have a miter attachment, a large extension table attachment, a shop vac attachment also. Very smooth tray, dense rubber, light aluminum. You've got your filter cleaning system. This is where you remove the dust, quick and easy. Nice wheels, strong frame. There's no wobble with this frame. You've got your dust shroud here to control the dust. Plunge option, on and off button, laser. This arm extends out here so you can Cut a 24 inch tile in half. That's it for this video. Tune in for the next video, which will be testing all materials, ceramic, stone, porcelain. We will miter cut. We will compare cuts with this versus a wet tile saw. So thanks for watching the unboxing of the IQ dustless, waterless,
tile saw. This is part one of this comprehensive review. I'll see you on part two.